Yo, what is going on guys? It is Future, and I'm going to be doing a 2015 Z28 build. Uh, I am super duper excited for this car. Uh, if you know anything about me, I am a huge Corvette fan, a huge Camaro fan, but I'm not really for Kim or Chevy. Um, I like any kind of cars, to be honest. I like Mustang, Challengers, and Camaros. And I like Vipers, but just I'm really excited for this car, and I just want to do a build with it. And I want to see how much horsepower it has, and how fast it can go. See if it can go 200 in the mile, maybe 220. Pretty cool. Ooh, whoops! Uh, you did not see that. Okay, so I'm. If they have the twin turbos, I'm going to put the twin turbos on here. Um, I honestly would guess... Mm, 950 horsepower. With everything modded. So let's see if we can get there. Holy crap. Can it do a thousand? Can it do a thousand? Oops, I skipped one. If it gets exactly one thousand. Wh what? Oh my god. A thousand and five horsepower? This is. Holy crap. And it. 355 in the back oh my god this car is crazy what can they do in the front they already have 305s 325s in the front too jesus christ dude i'm not going to get the front tires because this is going to be for the mile and the front tires really don't do anything they're just going to add weight and i like doing the rally transmission because now, I, al I always used to do race transmission, but, like, I've always wanted to try rally because, you know, it's just faster. And so I got it, and I was wondering why the speed was so bad, because it has 4-4 four, four gears. That's the only reason. And I always put the gears to around 3-2, three, 3-1 three, if I want to do a mile. And the first gear, or, like, the gears are a little bit messed up, but I know the gears that I like to do for practically all my cars. Um, it doesn't matter how much horsepower it has, I just keep it like this, and I I get all my 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and you know, if they have a 6th, I'll keep it all like that, and I'll usually change the final drive if it has more or less horsepower. So right now, this sits at 3,897 pounds. I'm going to be, I want to see what it does with this okay 3200 pounds it's not too bad I'm gonna be doing that sorry don't hate me and let's see if this makes it better eh, it makes a little bit better okay we'll get a roll cage too and front roll bars because I like adjusting these to where you know kind of does a wheelie kind of not really but you know let's see how this thing sounds and we'll see how fast it goes Ooh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, at least it's not as bad as the Z06, where, I mean, I practically couldn't hook to, like, 120 with the stock um, transmission. Or with the 8-speed. Yeah, I mean, the gears are too short, so I switched my... Well, not all of them, but I switched two of my... Z06 is to the six-speed rally transmission. My stock Z06, um, it's completely stock. Just has the transmission and tires. And that one is actually faster than the eight-speed one. You know, um, my, I mean, they're both stock, but mine just has transmission. And 
the one with the six speed is actually faster than the eight speed, so that's good to know. And so I tried it on the my highest horsepower one, which was the nine ninety five, I believe, horsepower. And it doesn't make too much of a difference. It probably makes like a mile an hour faster at the full mile. So I mean, it's still one mile an hour faster. You know, that's still pretty good. I mean, just for changing the transmission. So, this thing is flying right now. I think I might have to put lower gears because this is going to run out of. or it's going to run out of RPM. Jesus. Oh my god, 230 already. This is. I am honestly just really happy that they put this car into the game. I mean, having this and the Z06 in the game just makes me want to play the game more because I I just completely love these two cars and once I like saw the Z28 in real life, I I love the stance of it because it's so wide in the front and it just looks mean. And I love the rims on them. That's why I kept stock rims. That's the five spoke, well not really five spoke, but like the five things I don't know what to call it I'm not you know yeah, I'm stupid I'm sorry and once we get over to the mile over here I am going to tune the car so but first I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a baseline without like me tuning the gears and the uh, springs and downforce I want to get a base one before that see if I, if I actually make a difference and this thing rips through turns Man, this thing hooks like a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. And the sound is... It's like... I like these kind of sounds, like kind of raspy sound. You know, it feels like it's cutting through air. I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm weird and I think of weird things. I mean, I, to me, I really like it, but like, the regular C7, I don't know if you guys have it. I don't like that kind of sound. It just sounds... Eh. Like when you take off, floor it. I don't. I don't like it. But this one, it sounds like a ZR1 or a Z06. The the new Z06 or a Z01. It sounds like those, and I I really like those sounding cars. <laughs> nah, no, you guys didn't see that. No, nope, nor that either. Just just forget that. You, you didn't see me wrecked. I'm sorry. I'm not the very best at driving. That's why I don't do circuit races. I only drag race. And, um, yeah, you didn't see me miss the turn. Or you didn't see me wreck into that car. I'm sorry, guys. See, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but... Or I'm on manual. And this car's just super quick with, um, the rally transmission. That's because it minus, like, 0.16 shifting time. And that's a lot for a manual car. Manual clutch. To me, that's a lot. Instead of the point twelve we get with the race transmission most of the time. So yeah, we're gonna see what it does in the mile. Oops. Um. Yeah, I I totally didn't stall. I totally didn't stall again. that that's I, I don't even know what to say about that 216 so I'm gonna see if I can tune it and make it a little bit faster hopefully get for 220 miles an hour that'd be a very good number for me I'd be very proud but you know I'm never gonna get a tuning so most likely I won't yeah but this thing is just unbelievable I love it. I love the how it sounds. I love how it looks. I love how much horsepower it has. I did not, honestly, I did not think this thing would get over a thousand horsepower. This is, I'm pretty sure it's the first Cor or, not Corvette, Chevrolet that has gotten over a thousand horsepower.
mistake or nothing. Never mind. You you did not hear that. Um. So this is my usual drag race setup. I lower the front springs and tighten the rear springs. I don't really look at zero to sixty and zero to a hundred because to me it just like I don't think it's all, like it's on the same pavement. Does that make sense? Like it's not at the tr um on the airstrip. It just like that's on a sticky surface, and I'm on a not sticky surface, so I don't list. I don't. I really don't look at that zero to sixty and zero to hundred. But I do look at top speed, and I try to adjust the gears a little bit. So the six gear, I'll put it to 0.8 because it didn't go through all the way six gear. Okay, now we're gonna try it. Okay, I raised it up because if that makes it faster, I don't know why. But we're gonna see for 220. Well, like I said, <laughs> my tune tuning issues a little bit didn't really help the car. Uh, but yeah, hopefully one of you guys can get it to 220. That'd be really cool. Um, I'm gonna go for it one last time, and I think I'm gonna end the video. I, I totally didn't do that guys you didn't see that just hear that turbo see I don't understand how like sometimes it gets flames and sometimes it doesn't that's what I don't like about this game in Forza 5 it'll always shoot flames so yeah this time I'm going to be in cockpit view. Okay, we got a little bit higher that time. We got 0.2 higher mile an hour. So I'm gonna end the video right here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and leave a like if you guys want me to do some more of these live commentaries. Not really commentaries, but live builds where I practically don't cut the video, and you just see all the steps that I do to try to build a car, try to make it faster. Yeah, guys. See you guys later. Peace.